Today we're gonna to teach you how to set up, be safe, and execute beautiful artwork using the Lichtenberg burner. Right, the rubber matting that you saw me lay down is approximately one metre in length by 2.1 metres long, and it is three mil thick, making the perfect surface. The workbench sits on the rubber matting, and you are also insulated from the ground by the rubber matting. To insulate the work surface from the work piece, I've used a piece of doormat, which is approximately 450 mil by 750 mil and 10 mil thick. It's ribbed, so it's perfect to, to stop the electric shock going through the table and getting us. Also, I've used this piece of tiger tail here, which is used to secure power lines when workers are uh, working around them and that stops you from leaning in on the bench when there's electric current going through the workpiece and obviously giving you a shock. So here you can see the unit, it's the um, Conestoga, uh, Conestoga, I think I've uh, uh, pronounced it correctly, the Conestoga uh, Lichtenberg figure unit. These are the probes which obviously send the electricity through the timber to make those beautiful figures. Uh, you're well insulated with like a phenolic um, tube and a PVC uh, unit here which stops you slipping down and placing your fingers near the, um, the electrode. For personal safety when using these probes, I recommend that you use these class two electricians or linesman gloves. I believe they're rated at 17,000 volts. So with this outputting around about 11,000 volts, you're well protected. So finally, what you'll need for your workshop is one of these squirt bottles with, I use warm water, a container of bicarb soda. The ratio I use is two tablespoons of uh, bicarb soda to one litre or a quart of water. Secondly, after you've done your burn, there will be a lot of charring, etc., on the uh, timber, which you'll have to wash off. I use these little scrubbing brushes they're they're good in the respect that they have a large surface and a smaller one to get into the fine detail this one's made by a company called sabco in australia well i don't know whether they're an australian company but they're available in australia so you just find the equivalent of this it's a great little brush you could also use a toothbrush okay so that concludes the uh first ever episode by in of Bodacious Baz. Um, I appreciate you sticking around. Thanks for coming.